the top five things I'm looking forward to in 2019. Now this is media related, so I'm talking about films and series. If there are any albums as well, because I do make music on this YouTube channel as well. If there's any music that's coming out in 2019, I would have put it on this list as well. But to be honest, the films and series that uh, on this list easily trump any sort of music um, release that's coming out next year. So before I get into the top five, I need to bring up this honorable mention. This is Quentin Tarantino's next film, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Now, I'm a big Quentin Tarantino fan, and I love every single one of his movies. Uh, some more than others, because he does have a few meh ones. But to be honest, he is my favourite writer and director of all time. And I am very excited to see where he goes from here, because it does look great, it's got a great cast, I love anything Leo's in, so I'm very excited to see this movie. Now, onto the number 5 spot, we have the final season of Game of Thrones. Now, I've been watching Game of Thrones since season 5, I believe, and I love the series. I think it's a really good series, I enjoy a lot of the characters and I enjoy a lot of the story arcs that are being told, and like many people out there, I really want to see how this season series ends. And I do love how they're really narrowing down the story, reducing the amount of episodes for the season, because they want to tell the story that they need to tell, not go overboard and try to drag it out just to gain more viewers and more value, money or whatever. However it ends, I'm going to be happy, to be honest, because I don't really have that many expectations going into it. I'm just excited for it, which is why it's placed at the number 5 spot on this list. Coming in at number 4, we have Toy Story 4. Now, I'm a huge fan of Pixar and I love almost every single one of their movies and the Toy Story trilogy is possibly one of my favourite franchises or series out there. Uh, I think every single one of the movies is great and I absolutely adore Toy Story 3. Now, that said, Toy Story 4 I don't believe is a necessary sequel, but it's one I'm excited for. and. I can't deny that, I was excited when Finding Dory came out, I was excited when In The Incredibles 2 came out, and I'm excited for when this comes out. I, I was excited when Cars 3 came out, and I, I think that was a pretty decent movie to be honest. So basically, Toy Story 4, I'm very excited for it, the cast is returning, and they say that it's a really beautiful end for some of the characters, so I am excited to see it, and I will definitely be one of those big kids in a cinema filled with little ones. Now into the top three, these next three picks could easily be interchangeable because at any point in time I may just want to see one of these more than the other but they're all so good and I've assorted them the way I have for now because there's no way I'm not going to be excited for my number one pick when time comes for it. So. At number 3, we have Avengers Endgame. Now, I came out of the theater after watching Avengers Infinity War gobsmacked. I, I didn't really have that high of expectations going in. I didn't even think Thanos would win. I thought he'd get 3 or 4 of the stones and it'd end with him killing someone. Something like that. That's what I thought it'd be. But then it ended with half the universe getting wiped out and Thanos winning and it was, it was amazing. I, I loved the movie and I didn't want to tell people how much I loved the movie because I didn't want to give them this high of expectation going in because it's already a pretty big movie to actually have gone into and seen and now it has to be followed up by Avengers Endgame and the first trailer didn't really get me that excited for Avengers Endgame but it hasn't taken me out of it either. It's I'm still as excited as I ever was before and I am so ready and so happy, so prepared. I'm gonna be so excited just to watch this film itself. Avengers Endgame is gonna be probably the biggest movie of next year, and that's why, along with my excitement for it, that's why it's at number three in this list. Coming in at number two, we have the new series, The Mandalorian. This is a new Star Wars series, the first Star Wars live action series, at least under Disney that is going to be released on the Disney Plus streaming service and I'm very excited for this series. Not only is it, does it look like it's going to be a gritty series, it has Pedro Pascal as the lead. Most people probably know him as the Red Viper from Game of Thrones. I started watching Narco, Narcos, Narcos? I don't know how to say that. I started watching Narcos and um, I, I quite enjoy it. I like the style and the acting is great in that. So 
I am excited to see Pedro in this film uh, series itself. And what else there is, is the fact that Jon Favreau is writing it, producing it, and I love Jon Favreau. He is one of my favorite uh, writers, directors, filmmakers of all time. Not quite as good as Quentin Tarantino in my eyes, but I personally love him. I, I, I adore Chef, which was an independent film he made. He made Iron Man. He's made all of these great films, um, and I really like him. Along with that, Dave Filoni, who many Star Wars fans love and adore, who created uh, Star Wars Rebels, who uh, helped um, make Star Wars The Clone Wars under the guidance of George Lucas, and it was two amazing series and he contributed quite a bit to each one of these um and he's really the creative head or he like the creative mind behind many of the greatest things that come into star wars since the uh disney era and seeing him direct the first episode it's going to be great it's the perfect way to lead into the series and one thing i fear is that people like bryce dallas howard is directing and I don't know how good she is as a director. Uh, I don't think she's that great an actress, to be honest. I like her, I don't have a problem with her, but she just doesn't stand out to me. Um, Taika Waititi, he's a great guy, but I, I'm afraid he may make it too comedic if he sticks to his style. But that'll all take time to see. There's also one of the directors from Jessica Jones, and that I'm gonna be happy for, because I like Jessica Jones. I'm excited for it. It's gonna be something new and different. And I can't wait to see this series itself. And coming in at number one, this one is really obvious and I'm sure many of you would have seen this coming. We have the untitled Star Wars Episode 9 film. Now, I am a huge Star Wars fan and you guys all know that by now. And there was really no way this film could be taken off the number one spot. Like I said earlier, it could easily go down to the third spot depending on how the trailers come out and if the trailers are disappointing and, I, and it, it manages to actually take my hype down a little bit but I'm optimistic and I highly doubt that's going to happen. The moment the trailer comes out, if it's at Star Wars Celebration, I'll be up here at 2am probably watching it and I will be, oh, I will be gobsmacked. I am expecting that to happen no matter how the trailer comes out. So how can I not be excited for what is going to currently be the final installment in the Skywalker saga. My favorite part is Kylo Ren from the sequel trilogy and he's the main thing holding this trilogy together because he he's such a good character and Adam Driver is perfect as him. I can't wait to see more Kylo Ren on the big screen as long as he gets sent to stage but nonetheless if a time jump happens Rey's powers are explained if we see Luke as a force ghost then he actually does more in the way that we want Luke to be, I will be very excited for all that is to come. Especially if Princess Leia, Carrie Fisher, gets a lovely send-off. It will be possibly one of the greatest Star Wars films of all time. And I am excited to go watch it in cinemas several times. So those are the top 5 things I am looking forward to in 2019. If you agree with me, if you disagree with me, if you have your own top 5 things that you're looking forward to in 2019, leave them in the comment section down below. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content. Also check out my other social media accounts including my Twitter, Instagram and support me on my Patreon account. Links will be in the description down below and on the end screen. I'll catch you guys next time.